The past few decades have witnessed the emergence of various agrotechnologies to accelerate crop breeding, particularly major crops. Edge of these technologies is to enhance dryland crop production and to achieve global food and nutrition security in the near future. Investing in sorghum breeding is key to achieve food, nutrition, fodder, and biofuel security in the dryland regions under changing climate scenarios. ICRASAT has been a global mandate for sorghum improvement from the past 45 years, and its partnership efforts led to increased sorghum yields and improved varieties of seeds accessibility to farmers every year. Using the latest tools and technologies, ICRASAT further developed the most efficient product profiles-based strong sorghum program that meets specific market demands besides the food and nutrition needs. Post-rainy sorghum is important for food and fodder security, especially during dry seasons in semi-arid regions of India, with a selective trait to resist shoot fly, charcoal rot, and drought. Aphid tolerance and utilizing nitrogen efficiently being long-term goals for sustainable development. Rainy season sorghum for food, feed, and industrial uses is developed targeting Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, and few other states of India with a trait to resist shoot fly, stem borer, and increase grain and stover yield. Industrial usage with higher starch and protein being a long-term goal of this project. Sorghum for forage is developed targeting North and South India to increase forage yield, tillering ability, and resist anthracnose and leaf blight. Possessing multi-cuts, low lignin, and HCN content being a long-term goal for sustainable forage development. Sorghum for biofuel is developed targeting Pan-India to increase fresh stock yield for 1G biofuel and dry stock yield for 2G biofuel production. Low lignin content and high biomass being long-term goals of this product. The predominant effects and impact of the program. Using Icrasat bred germplasm and breeding lines, 326 cultivars released globally both hybrid and varieties. Of these, 137 are in Asia, 156 are in Africa, 33 are in the rest of the world. Of the 24 sorghum hybrids cultivated in the rainy season on 3 million hectares in India, more than 70% of cultivars had Icrasat bred parental lines. Icrasat leads the sorghum biofortification and has developed traits variability and phenotyping facilities to speed up nutrition mainstreaming. The road ahead. Grain and stover quality needs special attention to enhance market value. India has 30% dry fodder and 60% green fodder deficits. Sorghum forage cultivars potentially fill the gap in target areas. India Biofuel Policy 2018 indicated a 20% blend of ethanol by 2030. National and industrial policy supporting the cultivation of sweet sorghum and high biomass sorghum in non-traditional areas is key to achieve this target besides doubling farmer income. ICRASAT Sorghum Program is committed to increasing the diversity in breeding programs for traits of interest and optimizing breeding pipelines by developing rapid generation advancement, genomic selection, and rapid phenotyping methods. An assessment of the rate of genetic gain within and across breeding programs that gives a benchmark for progress in sorghum crop breeding. ICRASAT greatly acknowledges the public and private sector partners for continued support and contribution towards sorghum improvement. The program has global support, including EIB and BPAD endorsement in keeping the global standards of breeding protocols. Thanks to various donors for their financial support. ICRASAT set the stage to deliver more in the 21st century in partnership with public and private sectors.